The meeting begins with the observance of a one-minute silence in honor of casualties who died during an ambush against the Nigerian armed forces and the crash of a Nigeria Air Force helicopter in Niger State. This is followed by a condolence message and series of demands by the Niger State Governor. The Governor wants the Nigerian Air Force to set up a base in Mina so as to facilitate quick attack and response in the fight against insurgents in the state. Losses over the losses we recorded, you know, and the ambush that happened in uh, Ushishi, which eventually brought about the evacuation by your own chopper that was uh, that, that crashed. Uh, that is one. Secondly, to thank you very much for what you have been doing. In response, the Chief of Air Staff attributes Monday's helicopter crash to significant increase in the activities of the Air Force in the operational area within Niger State. He laments that Air Force operations, like other aviation activities, are often impeded by environmental conditions. The Armed Forces is also asking the government of Niger State to explore non-kinetic measures to end insurgency in the state. Um, as much as we are making a lot of effort intensifying our kinetic operations against these uh, 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 threats, these security threats. Empirically, it has been proven that kinetic action only resolves 20 to 25 to 30 percent of uh, internal security issues. The remaining 75 to 70 to 75 percent can only be resolved through the whole of government approach. So while we are intensifying our kinetic efforts, it is extremely important that the government embraces the whole of government approach in addressing these challenges so that at the end of the day, they are completely eradicated. And the whole of government approach does deals with good governance, providing education, healthcare, economic opportunities, jobs, and the likes. Officials say it has been a sober week for members of the armed forces following an attack on troops who were ambushed by bandits in Zungeru in Wushishi local government area of Niger State, including the crash of a Nigerian Air Force helicopter during a casualty evacuation mission, all in the state. Responding to questions from journalists, the governor attributes the high speed of insurgents in the state to an unhealthy alliance between those he called Fulani headsmen and illegal miners. Yeah, a lot of uh, uh, activities of illegal mining, you know, we have a lot of lithium and gold and uh, this is not far away from that because uh, these miscreants uh, are into this illegal activity so they've taken uh, siege of that place. Over the years we've been trying to talk to them and that uh, there's a symbiotic relationship between the Fulani headsmen and the miners, you know, because they use uh, these uh, cattle to transship whatever they have mined. You know, that is why you see the symbiotic relationship. Now, more than 36 hours after the attack, the number of casualties still remain unknown for several reasons are given by the government and also the armed forces. Now, one of them is the difficulty in assessing the terrain and, of course, probably for information management. However, with insurgents are still on the prowl in various local governments in Niger State, there is indeed more for the armed forces, the state government, and even the federal government and the people of Niger State to do to ensure that the activities of these insurgents are nipped on the board. Ferdinand Duroha reporting from the armed forces complex Abuja.